passionate about bringing the truth to the, all mankind because all we need to know our God who is our Father who created us and for the reason he created us Father, and that we can, we can fulfill that so we can fulfill our, our destiny because our destiny that we may um, obtain eternity and that eternity is important to God because he made provision to send his son to die on the cross for this reason so this is what I stand for and anyone who willing to to have a conversation, a dialogue with me, I'm open to it. Based on what I believe and what I believe, we can always find a common ground and a common to in uh, a better understanding why, especially for me, saying Christianity is the way forward for all mankind. Okay, thank you, thank you, Mike, for your time. So basically, that's interesting. So I'm just trying to listen to you. Uh, Salam Corner. I don't want to. I, I don't want to get into arguments. Yeah, okay. I don't want to shout over each other. I don't want to insult each other. Cool names here. Yeah? I don't want to mock anybody's religion. I just want to have a genuine discussion so we can understand and come to a common term. Because Allah said to us in the Quran, tell the people of the book, come to a common term between us and you that we worship God alone. So when I was listening to you, you mentioned a few things which I wanted to understand, or maybe you can make me understand, yeah? Is that you said you believe in Jesus, the Son of God, and you believe in the Father that sent him. Okay. Now, a lot of people have this question and these questions and these discussions are discussed in this part over and over again. And as Muslims we have a genuine question which we want answered. Because we're not here to mock your religion. I'm not here to belittle you. I'm not here to look down on you. I just want to understand where you're coming from. And I want you to understand where we're coming from and if it's valid where we're coming from. We're saying number one, if you believe Jesus is the Son of God, who is the one that sent him? If you believe he's not the same as the one who sent him, what is the difference between them? If there is no difference between them, then why is it sent and received and kingdom belongs to one? One has ultimate power. How does the Holy Spirit fit into all of this? Did the early church fathers believe in the Holy Spirit? So just in a nutshell, I don't want to overload you, but these are the genuine questions as Muslims we have. So do you understand where we're coming from? And can you explain to us? So it's simple to explain because uh, you see, you and me are created beings and we live in the world that has been created. So we are confined, we are limited in terms of our, our scope of operation, which is um, explained that out of this scope where we are, there is an existence. So when we talk about God, God lives out of our space and time. And God has his own dwelling, which is, you know, we call it heaven, where in his dwelling. And God has a throne where he, where, where he dwells. And God has a... Um, God has people, they call angels, yes. who serve him. Okay. okay? So, if you understand the concept of creation, can you take a show? Something that did not exist and was created, it is is dependent on something greater. That's good. I, I agree with everything you said so far. You understand? Yes. So, that's where actually the whole things lies where we need to understand our purpose of existence. So, to explain to you, we as a human being, we had a beginning. And that beginning, the history tells us, what God has revealed us, it was through Adam and Eve. And within that, God has created a relation, relational, um, let's say, relation, a, a, a relationship with the first created being. And within that, God has... Uh, given them a provision where they needed to live everything was set for them and then there were rules God set for them by which they needed to buy back that he did not have to walk to work but he, he laid to them a law you need to observe and that relationship you know that relationship was broken because of what man what did breaking the law of God and within that came the limitation of the existence of, a, of, of the first being which is meant it happens that to be okay because what you did 
I don't want to go to details, but you know the story. He will not live eternally anymore. But out of the ground where the Father, where God created the being, they're going to go back. Okay? But the intent of God, they will to live eternally. Okay? Because He only said, only when you will of breaking my law, then you will die. As He broke it, He is limitation came in terms of the length of his existence so that's where the whole thing began it's a long story if i have to know I don't want yes. smoke coming to me. Yes. So it's a long, yeah. it's a long, it's a long story. If I have to go to details, but I just want to refer you to that. Okay. That relationship broke, and you and me, as a human being, became limited. In so, so we bear that. We bear that sin. Yes. Okay. We we became like we are the seed of Adam. Okay. As the seed of Adam was to die, so all his offspring also okay. became inherited that nature okay. of uh, limitation. So yeah. we live and we. Yeah. Okay. So when we talk about God sending his son Jesus Christ to redeem mankind, is actually he came for this purpose to restore that eternity to us through God himself being perfect, offering this 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 atonement, this atonement for our redemption. So that's the purpose we have the son coming to the world and then giving his life so through him yeah. we be redeemed okay. and then the purpose of God yeah. is this world will be eternal from the beginning so as what we understand the son who came to die yeah. for the mankind sin is the one who will now dwell in this kingdom and he is the one who sit on his throne and his throne will be an everlasting throne and all human beings is the one who will allow them to enter in that kingdom as God the Father has the throne and the kingdom in heaven where the angels are the inhabitants of that kingdom so the son will also have a kingdom and a throne on earth and all that shall be redeemed through him shall be the inhabitant of that kingdom. So this is what we believe as a Christian. Okay, so those are okay, okay. But, but the question that I was asking, I understood like, the whole thing. If you told us that God sent a man to die for our sins, I would we would argue, is that correct? No, did God say that? Do we need somebody to die for our sins? When we say God sent a son, that's very problematic for us now because why we say, okay, God doesn't need a son. So when you say now the son is God, now it becomes more problematic. So for example, the stages. So when you first say, if you said to me, God sent a man, not his son, a man, to die for our sins, we can argue that, we can argue. When you add and say, now that is the son of God, we have now a problem because this is a matter of shirk. It's, it's associating partners with God because you're claiming that God uh, needs some kind of a son. If you say that is not the literal begotten son, but it's a son that is righteous, we can maybe talk about it and see, you know, maybe we should not use those terminology. Now, when you make that son the God, now we have a bigger problem. So the problem is dividing up from the Muslim side. So the Father is the Father Jesus, or is not? Because this is where, because when you say He sent, we have an Almighty One sending something. When anyone sends something or anything in any way, shape, or form, in that context. The one that he's sending, was he always there with God, with God creating? So I need to know, tell me, is Jesus and the Father the same or are they not the same? Are they on the same caliber? Can Jesus do what the Father can, can Jesus do what the Father does? And can the Father do what the Jesus, Jesus? So I, we need to understand that. Yeah, when I say the Son of God, I literally say the divine Son of God. Okay. Because as a Christian we believe Jesus' existence did not begin at his birth from Mary, but rather it was an incarnation. So he took on flesh. This is his our belief. So, so the spirit is eternal, but the flesh is finite. No, no. The flesh is, is that finite. God is a, has the ability to take on flesh. As we know from the beginning, God has a relationship with Adam and Eve. He used to appear to Adam. Okay. He came and he spoke to them. Yeah. As we know, even in, uh, in our scripture, God appeared at the tent of Abraham in the form of a human being. And Abraham present water for them, they wash their feet, 
and he sent his wife prepared the food for the Lord and he gave the food to God God ate the food and God spoke to him about what he was going to do and he revealed to him that he will be the father he will he will he will have a son so God our God in the Christian we know God has the ability to become a man so he did that okay. he did that already many times okay okay so you're saying you're biblically quoting that god has become a man before and he has the ability to do that to do that okay before we come to that what is the difference can i finish so so he has already has ability to do so you have done it it's not something new to god is he's the one who has a control of the world he created he came and to the creation so he did that many times and when we say Jesus is divine son, because it's not the way you and me are. From before our world was created, we believe Jesus was always there with the Father okay. as a divine being. So, so next, okay, okay. Next to the I'm Father. I'm trying to understand. The Father was there eternally, and Jesus was there eternally. Yes. Okay. What? Because that to me means there is two gods. I'm just saying, can you clarify? The Father was always there, and then Jesus was also always there with him. There is two divine beings. Can you explain? Yeah, because these are divine beings. Yeah? When we oh, talk about so this, they are divine beings. Yeah, Jesus is a divine being. Because a lot of Christians don't believe that. A lot of Christians believe that they, they are not. Um, there is one God. In, in uh, three different forms. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. It's, it's a being because so, you so, see, it's a being. I'm oh, sorry. What? Is it not? Can you not hear me? Oh, you are. Maybe you should be holding the mic. Okay, no, no, carry on, carry on. So yeah. I was saying to yeah. you, yeah? yeah. You see, in our world, you have brother, you have sister. Yeah. This is in our human yeah. level. Let me hold it for you. I yeah, sorry. Yeah. No, 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 no. This is in our human. This is an human form. Yes, yes, yes. So in in a divine um, in a divine realm, God has one who is called a divine Son of God. That's Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's Jesus Christ who the Father has revealed. So I'm saying to you, yes, from the beginning, before our world came to existence, Jesus was there with the Father. It okay. was divine, is divine, it was there with the Father. So there's two divine beings? No, there are many divine beings in the heaven. What, okay, okay. Angels are divine no, also. No, 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 yes, no, 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 Angel were created okay, by God. I'm talking about something that was not created. You said Jesus was not created, it's always there. Jesus was, you was see. He, was he created or not? No. Jesus, the way the Bible um, represents, it says God, God, um, he said, um, he, lost, he saw love the world. No, 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 no. God, at his work, at his, at his work, God, I think, sorry. No, no, you can paraphrase, you can paraphrase. Yeah, yeah, I just want to, let me read this. Okay, no problem, as you're reading, like, yeah, 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 yeah. because what we're so, trying to understand is yeah. that we have two divine beings that are not created. That is problematic because which which one is the all-powerful? Because no, no, the Father, no, to clarify okay, that, okay, Jesus sorry. made it clear. He yeah. said, my Father yeah. I, is greater than I. Okay, good, okay. So, okay. That, that's what I said to okay, you. two divine beings, yeah. one is more powerful. God is the Father. You see, is he more powerful I'll, than Jesus? Let me explain to you. You yeah. see, over all the prophets yeah. ever existed on earth, yes. only Jesus who came yes. and claimed yes. to be God, to be his Father. Okay. And he said, okay. I've seen his form yeah. and I know him. And if I say I don't know him, I never seen his form, yeah. I'll be a liar like you. So you are okay. speaking to the world that says, Okay. If I haven't seen the form of the, of God, yeah. whom you call God, he you, said he called him his father. Liar. So he said, okay, he said, okay. I will be a liar. Okay. So which meaning, yeah. Jesus, he was claiming. Yeah. Uh, He's claiming that he. No, sorry. He claiming par, parent, parental, can you say? Parenthood. Yeah, he, he was claiming uh, unity. He was claiming, claiming to be of the same family as God, as the father. Okay, so, yeah? okay, okay. so let me just understand this. God is power, more powerful than Jesus. No. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, because, okay. He's greater than Jesus. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. He's greater than Jesus. Jesus is also God, but not as greater as the Father. So then we have a hierarchy. 
So in that hierarchy, thank you. In the hierarchy, we have God the Father, and the we Son. have Jesus, who is also a godly claim, but he says that his Father is greater. Now, the moment you say to us the Father is greater, what you're saying to us is the following. <coughs> it reminds us when the Prophet peace be upon him came to Mecca and the pagan Arabs, they said, they affirmed, they said, look, we believe in Allah, we believe in God. These statues are just statues that we use to come closer to God. So now you're telling me that Jesus is the father. I mean, uh, Jesus is not the father, sorry. There's a father and Jesus says that his father is greater than him. If there is, if Jesus is God and there is anything greater than him, then he now is not the ultimate God, but a God. And that's how I want to no, understand. You see, you see, you see, everything that exists, it exists for the purpose. You okay. see, I'm trying to bring you to our level to understand the divine things. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. So I'm saying to you, you and us are limited. Yes. Because our life, our existence is depending yes. on the purpose of his creation. Yes. So God created this world for the purpose that this is son who is divine, who is God, to sit on his throne. To okay. sit on his throne. Okay, so 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 okay, I wanna know something. Who is the ultimate the no, God? It that, doesn't matter. No, I need no, no, no. What I'm saying to God. you, Jesus made it clear. Yeah. My father is greater than I. Okay. But then he said, the father loved the son, yeah. that he have shown all things to the son, that what the father can do, the son also can do. Okay. So, so if God can create a human being, yeah. the son can create a okay, human so, being. So, okay, so can we say the greater father, he's given authority Everything. or power to the lesser divine God to do things? Yes. Okay, if that's the case, then you believe that there's an ultimate higher being God. The Father is great. Jesus okay. has made that so, clear. So you're saying then, then you're, this is heresy. Because it's not. It's not. No, I'm, I'm no, not. For, it, not for me, I'm no. saying Christians will I'm say that. saying to you, it's out of our sphere. Okay, no, no, This is not in our world. But a lot of Christians will say that. Like, you know, in, you know, in a divine realm. Yeah, but that's you know Christians in the park, if you go to them and say this to them, They'll say you, it's, it's heresy. No, because, it's not. No, no, no. If you go and speak to them, if I bring you a Christian here, they will say that's not right. Ali, they believe they're the same. Ali, let me give you a sense of understanding yeah. how a world, the meaning, maybe it's long, I'm sorry. No, no, it's fine. But it's I'm going to read it. You see, okay, it's not that 